tired. We've been on a surf bender lately. Been waves for a long time, so my body's a little bit sore, but I'm excited. I'm gonna try a new board today. It's a squash tail. Fashion over, function, function over, over fashion. fashion. And every day, all day. Dog's back. It's been a minute. <laughs> Oh He's single God. and ready to mingle. On the prowl. Taking applications in the description below. <laughs> Ta da! Yellow. CI Pro uh, squash tail. That's it. So I got it. Well, for the ocean, but also for the, the wave pools coming up and our contest there. So I was thinking maybe a squash tail would be nice in the pool because I've ridden one out there in the past. Well, the extra foam in the pool theory is because it's not salt water, and salt water obviously helps make you more buoyant. So because it's fresh water, your board sits in the water just a little bit more than what it feels in the ocean, obviously ocean being salt water. So having a little more buoyancy actually feels good, I think, in the pool, or just what it would feel normally in the ocean because it's fresh water. So that's the theory of why. Do we know the word for that? The word for what? Salinity. 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 I didn't Always go to school. Always kids at home. Look at salinity. I didn't go to school. And well, I did. that explains why you float a little bit more in the ocean. <laughs> salinity. There you go, kids. That's why Tom is the smart one in the family. Salinity. It's obviously a bit softer. Yeah. It's a bit smaller, but you can still the same recipe. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Do a mission, but you can try and come in. Come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah.
for uh, Saturday. It was pretty easy to get waves until the very end. Then old old guys were holding it down. Board, the board was feeling pretty good. Yeah, I usually don't ride squashes. I usually ride um, rounded pins, but I was feeling good today. It was a little smaller, so it kind of worked today. He's got style. Actually, everyone's just jealous of your whole entire situation. <laughs> I certainly am. It's kind of like perfect size right now for I it know. to stand up. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> this is Vlog Life. This is Glenn, Micro Hall, surf coach. This is Callum Robson, professional surfer on the men's tour. Um, I have two questions to start with you both. No, I just want to know for people that watch the video, there's a lot of people that are average surfers or beginners or quite advanced. And if you had any recommendation to just improve your surfing overall. I know that's hard because there's all different levels, but if there's one thing you would tell people as a coach to kind of start with if they're wanting to improve. Your expectations and understand why you're going out in the first place. Like, mm. I guess the foundation of why we're going to is to have fun. And if you overcompensate with some crazy high expectations that your level's down here and you're thinking you're gonna go out here yeah. and do start doing turns you've never done before. So I feel like just going out there and being kind to yourself in the reality of your level. Right. And trying to go in conditions that are suitable to to what your level is. I feel like yeah. so often you see servers going out in conditions that are like way out of their depth. And then they get disappointed in themselves and like the reality is they're probably gonna get flogged anyway. So yeah. Trying to be be real with the conditions that suited you and then just be kind yourself with your ex expectations. Cal? Yeah. Cal, I'm just got a 10. We're gonna play the 10 right now so you guys can see it. It was messed up mm -hmm. in Portugal. Yeah, we'll link it below too, but we'll play it right here. I was gonna say those vlogs. Subscribe. Yes! Why don't we do that at the end? Subscribe below or up or wherever it is. Below? There. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, Cal. How do you go with the mid-year cut? You were pretty safe after Portugal. I guess you got a third and it felt like it got you into a really nice position before you went into Australia. Yeah. But how'd you go with the pressure of everything? Yeah, I definitely felt like a different kind of pressure the second year around. It yeah. felt like for me the first year I was so new to the whole experience. And for me, like the mid-season cut, everyone was like carrying on and a bit upset by it, but I'd never experienced anything else. So right. that's kind of all I knew. For me, I was just having a crack at whenever, at every event and just seeing how it went. And um, I felt like that first year I was very just in the moment and surfing one heat at a time. And it was like really, it was not easy, but it was like easier for me to do that. Whereas like the next year and obviously having the expectation that I've made that cut and then coming in and going, like understanding where my expectation is. Sure, yeah, um, makes sense. You'll have the crazy thoughts in your mind. That's like. Scary. That are completely normal. Like, like, oh my god, what if I do? Like, what if I lose first heat and next two comps? Like, <laughs> and people like, like it's, I don't know. Your mind just goes in all these different places. But yeah, um, yeah. It's lucky to have Micro on my corner at Mars and um, really helps me kind of just bring things back and um, just simplify things and go surf heats and try and win every little battle and win every little mm. moment I could and the 10 was bloody awesome as well Cal the 10 was bloody awesome yeah Cal. sick best moment of my life probably was it probably it was, was freaking unbelievable was surfing life 100 percent did you think you were gonna make it or do you think did you just go fuck I have to go to them oh I didn't even screen. think that far but I was just like make the drop and then I was like come in and then it like sucked me back and I was like please make it please make it please oh. make it and then when you're in the position like oh my god I think I'm gonna make it yeah it's like the emotions is insane. <laughs> so sick. The buzz I felt after that was like no buzz I've ever felt in my life. That's nearly as good as winning a comp almost, for I me, swear. For, for me, like that's the most like amazing feeling I've had within surfing. Oh, cool. Just coming in, just having the buzz. Yeah, yeah, just like. And I was like, weird, because I was like, I only just made the elimination. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I still, like so it felt like I've got a result. Yeah. More tens to come. Hopefully from both of us. <laughs> now I'm gonna do rapid fire questions. Callum, best tour stop. J Bay. Would you rather have a pet dragon or breathe fire? Breathe fire. Would you rather talk like Yoda or breathe like Darth Vader? I already breathe like Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> and I talk like Yoda. Yeah. <laughs> Square tail or round tail? I like round tail. Uh, would you rather be 11 feet tall or 9 inches tall? <laughs> 
this is stitch up. <laughs> Eleven feet. Eleven feet. Uh, would you rather go over the falls of pipe or chow food? Chow food. Eat only rice for the rest of your life or eat only tortillas? Rice. Wow. Air reverse or alley oop? Would you rather live without music or live without TV? Uh, without music. P or, or epoxy? Uh, P. NRL or NFL? NRL. Miley Cyrus or Taylor Swift? <laughs> Taylor Swift. Yes! Foo wax or sex wax? Sex wax. If you were given a billion dollars, what would you buy first? A couple of asses, maybe. Tell them Robson, everybody. <laughs> Glenn, did we scare you? <laughs> Foo wax or sex wax? Sex wax. Salad or vegetables? Like, like, like no. He doesn't eat anything green. Would you rather be born 100 years in the past or 100 years in the future? 100 years in the past. What is the best spot on tour? Are you getting, even though it's not on now? Yeah. Would you rather lose your sight or lose your memories? Lose my sight. Would you rather have cheese flavored toothpaste or ham scented deodorant? Cheese? Oh, Square tail or round tail? Uh, round tail. Would you rather speak to animals or speak 10 foreign languages? Am I the only one that can speak the animals? Yeah, you're just out there having a chat with a dolphin. Speak? I'll do that. I'll that. Just yeah. squeaking away with them. No, Would you rather surf like Gabby or John? John. Frontside tube or backside tube? Backside for sure. PU or epoxy? PU. Would you rather, rather have bad BO or bad breath for the rest of your entire <laughs> life? I guess PO. Yeah. Burritos or burgers? Burgers. Indo or Mexico? Indo. Thanks, Glenn. Thank you. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was something new we did today. So thank you, Callum. Thanks for having us. Yeah, that was fun. Subscribe <laughs> below. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Subscribe. Bye.